And then when she found out her daughter was late, she was just like, thank God. Grandkids tell me I'm still about home. I'm still about home, not biologically, but you know, as black kids, we got a lot to do. A lot to do. So I know if these straight men are here that they fucking job, but we would have to have that situation. Um, anyway, they moved here in hopes of things being different than where we were from. Like I said, the other you know, side runs up to the Capitol, causes a big scene, starts beating police with blue uh yeah the blue lives matter flag beating the police with it and everyone says it's just a normal day at the capitol that was just tourism it's it's enough my call to action is get off the couch we got to get out more for those of you who are out there thank you thank you some of y'all i see at rallies some of y'all have seen out there protesting some of y'all remember seeing last summer at the justice center you know when we played a uh, little back and forth with the tear gas containers with the feds. <laughs> but we just, we've got, we've got to get out there. They want to be bold, we'll be bold. If, if you don't have it in you to be bold and you just want to come out and, you know, be kind of quiet and, you know what I mean? If you're, not, if you're not an extrovert like me and you don't like to hear yourself talk, by all means, your support is still needed. But those of us who got no problem being as bold and out there and making sure that they see and hear us, we gotta do it. And to every, you know, I know someone's streaming this somewhere, to any queer, non-binary, trans youth, any youth anywhere who's being oppressed, if you see me, I got you. Someone's attacking you, I've got you. We've gotta have each other because they are coming at us from all sides. And they're also trying to divide us. There's a lot of my family members from, you know, the Taino side who are like, oh, well, no, those people are taking our jobs or those people are taking your jobs. Are you serious? That dude's wearing khakis and a polo. He's not living the dream. <laughs> He's not taking your job. It's the guy in the Bentley that's fucking with your paycheck. Like, let's, let's remember who the enemy is. Keep our eyes on the goal. And the goal is the chains off of all of our hands. Because we're beautiful. We're handsome. I know I'm handsomely beautiful. <laughs> One thing I've learned in the past year is I love me some me. Hell yeah. I love me in a way that no one else is ever gonna love me. And I don't, I don't life is short. I mean, it's, not, it's a cliche, but fight cancer. And I'm telling you, you'll realize life is short. I don't know how much, how much more time I have on this planet, but I'm telling you right now, I'm going out fighting. I'm going out fighting. Get the fuck off the couch. Okay, thank you so much.